Hi friends! In today's video, I'm going to be doing a spring makeup tutorial. I'm so excited. I love spring. So excited to see what April brings. I love spring. Spring is one of my favorite seasons and I'm so excited to be creating a spring makeup look for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna pin back or put back my my hair so it's not in my face. Okay, so to start off, I'm gonna use my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. While that's sinking in, I'm going to comb out my brows or brush my brows. So I'm using the Equal Tools spoolie and just gonna comb through them. I'm going to use this Physicians Formula Refreshment cucumber and bamboo ID puffer I've been using this off camera a lot just to help depuff my under eyes and also soothes my under eyes too I really like it you can also use it on top of your on your eyes as well it just gives you this cooling refreshing feeling. It works really well. I adore Physician's Formula. And now I am going to prime my eyelids. I'm going to use concealer today. I'm going to use... This is a bit newer to me. It's the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer. So I'm gonna try this out today. And then to blend that out, I'm going to just take my e.l.f. brush. There we go. Looks good. To set that down, I'm going to use my NYX HD Banana Powder. I'm going to use the same brush. Okay. And then for the eyeshadow palette I'm using, I'm using the creepy cute eyeshadow palette by Strobe Cosmetics. Look how cute it is! This is what it looks like. Very springy. And so I'm going to use the shade Third Eye into my crease. I'm going to use my Lexie Small Tapered Blending Brush, number 231. I'm gonna dip into the third eye. Just put that in the crease. That is, I've never used this eyeshadow palette before. And this is my first purchase from Strobe Cosmetics. I saw Jay Kissa uh, mention this a bunch of times and she did a tutorial using it. Um, and so, and I thought the palette was really cute. So, I am so excited to be trying it today. The color is really nice and vibrant and they're blend, it's blending out nicely. I 
And then I'm gonna take strawberry milk with the same brush. Put that on the outer part of the lid. And then I'm just taking a clean blender brush just to blend everything, make sure everything is seamless. And then next, let's see. There was a little kickback on both of these, but nothing terrible. I think I'm gonna take the blue called Cold Shoulder, this one right here, and put it on this part of the lid. I'm gonna take the, I think it's, so the one that I just used to blend, it's called the Blending Brush, and it's number 237 by Lexi. So I'm just gonna take Cold Shoulder and just put that right here that's really pretty so that does have a bit of kickback but that's fine what eyeshadow doesn't have kickback And I'm not tapping off my brush because I want to see the full potential that eyeshadow has to offer. And so far, it's pretty good. <laughs> Going back into cold shoulder just to make that blue pop. Now I'm going to just... Um, dip back into strawberry milk because some of the pink got all right so for the inner part we use something sparkly I think I want to use one of the Stila Magnificent Metals. Maybe? Oh no, that doesn't really... Let's see. Hmm. Oh, I wanted something, I wanted something more gold or white. I know what I'll do. I'll use um, one of the new Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Eyeshadows. This one's in the shade Pure Intention. I hate these plastic things. Oh, that wasn't too bad. So this is what it looks like. Let's swatch. Ooh, that's pretty. It's right there. So I'm gonna use that on this part of the lid. Also the inner corner. Now I'm gonna take a flat shader brush. This one's by ColourPop. I'm gonna use the other side just to marry all everything together. Oh my gosh, that's blending out really nicely. It's not chunky. Okay, my wild. Wow. 
That's super pretty. Ooh, oh my God. I like that. Okay, so now I am going to use, I'm gonna try this Wet n Wild Metallic Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Skull Prayer. I think this would be really fun. So I know that there's a, it's kind of holographic and I know that's one of the trends I know going on right now is like holographic. Plus it's like really good for festivals and that's pretty. I'm gonna let that dry now. Okay. Looking good so far. I like this. It's not too pigmented off the bat, which is really good. It's that means it's friendly and it's not it's easier to make mistakes and then go and correct them. And so now what I'm gonna do is Curl my lashes. The mascara I'm going to use today is the Ciate Wonder Wand Mascara. I love this. dried out. Might be dried out. I'm gonna have to use a different one because this one's dried out. I'll have to order a new one. <laughs> um, and so uh, instead I'm gonna use I've been really like this one by Buxom lately. It's the Big Tease mascara. Alright, so I did the other eye off camera just to save some time and I really like them. I did apply an extra coat, another coat, and I like it. And the eyeshadow look is really pretty. I really like how it's turning out. I can definitely feel the eyeliner. like. You know that feeling when you feel the eyeliner? It doesn't bother me, but just something to keep in mind that you can feel it. Um, but other than that, I, I mean, I love it. I love how everything is turning out. So far, so good. And so now before going on, are you doing the under eye? I am going to do the face. And so for primer, I'm gonna use an oldie but a goodie. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. Do one, two, three pumps like that. Rub it together. And then for foundation, going to use the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Foundation. I am in the shade Nude. I'm going to take this on my EXO Beauty angled face brush. And just apply that to the skin. I love how this blends foundation. It blends it in so well. And then for concealer, 
I'm gonna use the same one I used to prime my eyes, the Becca one. What did I do? There it is. And then to blend that out, I'm going to use my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And with doing your eyes first, you can always use the foundation and concealer to clean up. Give some nice coverage. It's not heavy. I would say this is light to medium. Since this is a spring makeup tutorial, I'm going to use creams. I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter. I'm going to use the, it comes with powders on one side and then creams on the other. I'm going to use this shade right here and use the one and use with concealer just to warm up my face oh that's nice These creams are blending in really well. Why do I say yellow? Hold on one second. Oh, weather's being funky. There we go. Now I'm going to use the cream highlight that it comes with with my middle finger. It's really pretty. to give me that. What I'm going to use is the same powder I used earlier, the NYX HD Banana Powder. I'm going to use my... I'm going to use the Crown Brush. It doesn't have a name on it. I'm going to use that to set I'm just using a little bit to clean up the bronzer. And then I think I'm gonna leave my forehead not set. And then I'm gonna go back to the Creepy Q palette and what I'm gonna do on the bottom lash line is use the the green and the purple. Should I use the green? Actually, I think I'm gonna start with Tom's tomb tombstone on the outer part, and I'm gonna use the. I'm actually gonna use the EXO Beauty pencil brush and just dip into that. And then just put that on like the outer half. I feel like these colors all go really well together. I'm going to take my e.l.f. pencil brush and take the shade called Planchetta, purple one. And put that like towards the middle. And then for the inner part, <laughs> using so many different pencils, I'm going to take the Wet n Wild uh, P10, it's like a pencil brush. I'm going to take the shade called Creep It Real, that's cute. 
and put that. Ooh! Right in the middle, or right in their inner portion. I feel so springy! Love it! Okay, so now I'm gonna add some Nevada mascara. No, like, thoughts on this. I love it. Absolutely, 100% support this brand. I love this palette. I absolutely think 100% it's worth your money. Uh, it is an inter international brand. I believe they're based in UK, um, but Stroke Cosmetics, but I, eyeshadows performed really well. I love the shades. I love how sleek it is. It's creepy cute. I love it so much. I'm gonna be, this is gonna be a palette I'm gonna use a ton in the springtime. If you want me to do another tutorial using this palette, I totally can. Uh, just let me know in the comments below. And now I'm going to use mascara on the bottom lash line. I'm going to use the same mascara I used for the top. I am going to add some blush. And I think that will tie everything together. I'm going to use the Balm Springs blush. Just going to take my It Cosmetics blush brush and I do lips. I'm gonna use the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. The Kat Von D. I think this is. Oh my gosh, they smell like cookie dough. Oh, they smell so good. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna use the Bow and Arrow Studded Kiss Cream Lipstick by Kat Von D. Okay guys, and that completes today's makeup tutorial. I absolutely love everything. I love how this turned out. I think it's a really pretty, really, but you can also wear this like to festivals, um, like Coachella. I just, I adore this. Uh, this is definitely out of my comfort zone. So that's really fun, and I think it's really pretty, very springy. I just absolutely love it. I love everything. Everything worked so well. Um, yeah, I just... I love everything. The Becca concealer isn't creasing around my nose. It doesn't look too shabby underneath the eyes either. Okay, that is it, guys. I hope you have a wonderful night or day wherever you are. And this video, a thumbs up. If you enjoyed today's video and found it helpful or fun, I hope you guys like it. And until next time, mwah!